Hello and welcome to another Windows 7 screencast. I'm David Strom. Do you worry that your PC can get infected with malware? Then you should whitelist your applications, meaning that only allowed and approved apps can run on all of your PCs. In this video, we'll look at how Windows 7 uses AppLocker, a new security feature. It's a big enhancement over the older software restriction policies that came with Windows Server 2003 and Vista, which is what we're looking at here. They were complicated to administer and limited in terms of the kind of rules created. To get started with AppLocker, we first want to turn on the application identity service here. We go back to our policy editor and navigate down to add a new rule. You see that there are three types of rules, path rules that enable programs to be restricted to particular path. That works okay until someone changes the path. Hash rules use cryptography to identify a legit program, but that can break if you have to update your software. And publisher rules examine the digital signature of your apps, which is probably where you want to spend most of your time, and the biggest enhancement of AppBlocker. All of these policies can work either with a local machine or run from a group policy on a Windows 2008 R2 serve. I recommend you try them out locally, as I'm doing here first, before you get the hang of things, because you can lock up your PC completely if you aren't careful. We have links to more in-depth resources on AppLocker's features on the associated page with this video on our website, along with other how-to screencasts on other Windows 7 features. Thanks for watching.